just want you to give him praise, give him praise wherever you are, wherever you are. With all the happenings all over the globe, all over the world, God Almighty has preserved you. Why don't you shout hallelujah to him? Shout hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise by your hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Lord, and I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. And Lord Divine, we want to hear your word. According to Psalm 119, verse 130, it says, The entrance of your word giveth light, and it giveth understanding unto the simple. Father, this morning we pray that the entrance of your word will give us light in the name of Jesus. The entrance of your word, let it give us deliverance in the name of Jesus. The entrance of your word. Let it set us free in the name of Jesus. The entrance of your word. Let it lift us up in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that you will have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, at the end, oh Lord, we will glorify your name. We will have understanding. We will have understanding in the name of Jesus. Father, we give Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, set you. Hallelujah. Amen. I welcome everyone to church. In Lagos State now, resume back to church. Ogun State by next week, we resume back to church. For every online watchers also, we are still online. Even as we are resumed to church, we are still online. I pray that as you watch and as you listen to God's words, God Almighty will do the miraculous in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are all blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 98 verse 1 to 4. Psalm 98 verse 1 to 4. Say, oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous sin. His right hand, his holy arm has gotten him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his righteousness, and he openly showed in the sight of the heaven. He had remembered his mercy and his truth towards the house of Jacob, towards the house of Gergob, towards the house of Adayemi, towards the house of everyone listening right now. And all the end of the earth have, have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice. And sing praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Can somebody shout hallelujah. 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 If the Lord has remembered his mercy over your life, over your family, towards your heart, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. 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 This morning, I want to speak on a topic. You know, this month is our month of new song. This month is our month of new song. Just as the spirit of the Most High God has led our daddy, to, 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 to proclaim this month, to declare this month as our month of new song. So therefore, I want to speak on the topic this morning, new thing, new song. New thing, new song. I want to speak on the topic, new thing, new song. Now, when God created man, God created man to be limited. When God created man, he created man to be limited in some area. It is not everything that is our back that is at our back and call. Though we may try all our possible best, we may try all our possible best, we may try all our best possible to what? To get all those things, but we will still lack it. No matter how rich someone may be, it will still desire new thing. Therefore, the desire to get that thing. To get desire to get the thing will make us to make us move closer to God. We make us to move closer to God. That thing that you desire, you know, it is only God that can give it to you. So it will make you to move what to move closer to God. So in moving closer to God, we move closer to God, maybe through prayer or through song, because it is only God that can give us all these things. Now a song, because this this month is a month of new song, a song. Is a sound that declares the deeds 
or things or work. All the things the one we sing the song to. When we sing a song, a song is something that declares what someone has done for you. And it declares that as you are saying, as you are declaring that song, you are declaring that song to that person that have did this for you. It's just like when the husband blesses his wife. You know the wife will start singing the praise of the of the husband. She will be singing the praise of the of the children, but she will be appreciating the husband. So that is what a song is all about. Declaring what he has done. Oh, thank you, my husband, for giving me this money. Thank you, my husband, for taking care of my children. It's a song. You are appreciating him. So when we declare, when we declare something someone has done for us, it's like a song. So whenever we sing a song to the Lord, whenever we sing a song to the Lord, we are in a way telling God or appreciating God for the things he has done in the past. When we declare, when we are singing a song to God, when we are appreciating God, we are in a way telling him or appreciating him for what he is going to do. That's number two. Then number three, we are also in a way telling him or appreciating him for what he is getting ready to do for us. But in Psalm 98 verse 4, it says, Sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous thing. It says, Sing unto the Lord. Why should they sing, a, 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 sing unto the Lord? Why should they sing a new song? Because God has done marvelous thing. They didn't say, Sing unto the Lord a song. Song. Why is it a new song? Because of the marvelous thing he had done. So here we see that that marvelous thing proceed a new song. That thing that God did proceed. God, if God has did it before they can sing a new song. So marvelous things are extraordinary things. Marvelous things are something that are good. Marvelous things are something that is great. Marvelous sin is something that we say it is unbelievable. That are marvelous sins. Those are what we term as marvelous things. So here the Israelites sang a new song unto God because he has done a marvelous sin for them. He has done a, a, a new thing for them. That's why they are singing a new song. This very month, God will do a new thing for you. That will make you to sing a new song in the name of Jesus. Amen. In this Psalm 91 verse 8, because God did something great in the life of the Israelites, that was why they were able to sing a new song. The new song that they sang in Exodus chapter 15. And what was that marvelous thing that God did for them that made them to sing a new song? What was that thing that was new? What was that new thing? That God did for the Israelites that made them to sing a new song. God delivered them at the Red Sea. Every one of us will remember the story when the Israelites passed through the Red Sea. When they parted the Red Sea, they were before afraid. How can we walk through this path? This path will be muddy. This path will be, will, will, will be wet. We will, will be get stuck. When we but immediately they stepped in. They stepped on dry ground. And they walked to the other side of the Red Sea. And not only that. There are enemies that have put them in bondage for a long years. Say yes, I will not allow you to go. Pursue them into the Red Sea. And what happened to all their enemies? They perished in, they perished in the Red Sea. And that was why the Bible says, His right hand, His holy hand has given Him victory. That was a new thing. It was a new thing. It is not, it's something that has never happened in the history of the Israelites before. Is it something that has never even happened in the issue of the Bible? A race here who see pattern of their own accord. And people walk through it. It is a miraculous thing. It was a marvelous thing in the sight of the Israelites. And also the divine provision it gave to them in Exodus chapter 16 that they ate for 40 years. The Bible says they ate that manna and quail. That manna fell from heaven. It's a marvelous thing. Just anyhow they want it. It was a marvelous thing in their eyes. It was a new thing to them. And that was they were able to sing a new, a new song. New thing happened to them and they were able to sing a new song. So new things or marvelous things are things that maybe to you 
It will be an unimaginable healing. A healing that you did not expect. A healing that you did not, you did not, you are not ready for. And it just comes suddenly. Just like it happened in Acts of Apostles chapter 3 verse 1 to 9. The Bible says, Paul and Silas were about to enter into that gate, that beautiful gate. And they saw a man there. That man had been there begging for harm. And do you know what this beggar, this lame man, do you know what he was doing? He looked upon Peter and Silas and said, oh, Peter and John, sorry, Peter and John, that Peter and John, give me money so that I can survive. But the Bible says, Peter and John, they looked upon this man. And they said, arise and walk. And immediately he rose up and he walked. It was an unimaginable healing. He was not expecting it. And the Bible says immediately that he walked, he followed Peter and John into the temple. That was an unimaginable healing. He was not expecting it. And there was healing upon his life. That was a new thing in the life of that man. And also Luke chapter 13, verse 10 to 13. Luke chapter 13, verse 10 to 13. There was a woman that was bent. The, the Bible says evil spirit possesses this woman for 18 years. She was bent 18 years because of the evil spirit that was there. And Jesus was just there preaching. Preaching. Not that he was doing miracles. But immediately he saw this woman bent for 18 years. He said, woman, thou art healed. And she was healed immediately. And she started praising God. She started giving thanks to God. That was a, 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 a new healing. A healing that she did not expect that came to her. That's unimaginable healing. That sickness that is hidden in our body that we did not know of. The healing power of God will go right now and heal us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That marvelous thing, that new thing may be a deliverance from a long standing battle. And that marvelous thing, that new thing that we may want may be a change positively. We may desire a change positively. Just like it happened to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus said, let me clap up because Zacchaeus was very short, a very short man. And he heard that Jesus is come, was coming to Jerusalem. He said, ah, I want to see this Jesus. And Zacchaeus was a tax collector, collecting people's money. Collecting people's money anyhow. He was a tax collector. And he said, let me, I want to just see this Jesus. I want to see him. He's not that he's sick. He's not that he needed anything. But immediately Jesus passes on that tree. Jesus said, come down, today I will feast in your house. Hey, it was a change that positively that came to him. And Zacchaeus, after he has visited, after he has received the presence of Jesus in his house, he said, from today, everything that I have collected in the way that is not right, I am restoring it back. Everything that I have done that is not right, I am restoring back to that we made a restitution that was a positive change to him. And then your marvelous thing may be an accelerated progress. Your marvelous thing may be victory. Just like it happens to David. In 2 Samuel chapter 6, when David brought out, brought back the ark of God, 2 Samuel chapter 6, David brought back the ark of God to, to his house, to his city. And he was singing a new song. He was dancing a new dance. He was happy in the presence of God. That was in 2 Samuel chapter 6. That even his dance, his wife, Mika said, why are you dancing like this? Why are you making jest of yourself? Why are you, give, why are you putting us to shame? Why are you putting royal, your royalty to shame? Look at how she just said it. Hey. But David danced. That was a new thing. A new thing that the heart of God is coming back to his house to, to hear him. He was happy. And he was rejoicing, singing a new song, dancing before God. And his wife despised him. But in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 1, he said, the Bible recorded that because of what David did in dancing a new song, that's why we could sing that song. When the Spirit of the Lord fall upon my land, I will dance like the victim. I will dance. And when some people are singing that song, they will just stand like a stick, they will stand like a tree. But with the Bible recorded that David danced and everything within him it was just that even the subjects we are looking at him. I believe maybe it would have been the dance that they danced in those days, or the the, 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 the rhyme or poem that we do sang when we are young. Who is in the garden? Maybe David was in the middle, and the subject danced around him. 
Because he was very happy. And then we said, Who is it? The God is our King David dancing. Hallelujah. He was so happy. And the Bible recorded in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 1, that God gave David rest round about him from every of his enemies because he gave thanks to God, because he sang a new song. Note that every child of God is entitled to a new song. According to 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. An holy nation. A holy nation. A peculiar people. You are a peculiar people. That you should show forth the praises of you him. You are chosen to show forth the praise of him. Who have called you out of darkness. Who have called you out of darkness. Into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. You are chosen to show forth the praise of God. I am chosen to show forth the praise of God. I am chosen to sing a new song. That is what the Bible said. And that is why every, I said every child. That is what we are created for. To show forth, to show forth his praise. To sing a new song. And Psalm 67 verse 5 to 6. Let the people praise thee. He said, let the people praise thee. Oh God. Oh God. Let all the people praise let thee. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield thy increase. There is the earth will yield thy increase. And God. And God. Even our God. Even our God. Shall bless us. Shall bless us. Do you hear that? When you sing a new song, then God will do what? God will bless you. When you sing a new song, then the earth, your business, will prosper. When you sing out to him, when you rejoice before God, then you begin to do new and marvelous things for us. Now, just as new things, marvelous things, makes us to sing a new song, just as when God did something new for us, just as when God do something that is that we have been praying for, when He did it for us, we also sing new. We will sing new song. That is what I just established, and we do. Bible stories there. The Bible examples there. So in the same manner, when we sing a new song, despite the situation we are passing through, when we sing a new song, despite the problem that is passing through you, when we sing a new song, despite that circumstances that surround you, when you sing a new song, not minding Forgetting about your cares, forgetting about your sorrows, you what? You will have a new thing. Yes. Now we are speaking on a topic: new thing, new song. And when God do new thing for us, we will sing new song. But there are some times that we 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 need to sing that new song, even when God has not done anything for us. Yes. We need to sing that song even when God has not done anything for us. No, we standing. The situation. Just what I've said, yes, new thing proceed, new song. Also, new song proceed, new thing. And why do I say that? Let's look at the Bible. The book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. Every one of us, you know the story of Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas. The Bible said they were preaching the word of God. And what happened? They were put, they were in prison, put in jail. And the Bible said they were in that prison. They were in that prison doing what? Praising God, praying. They were singing, a, 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 a Bible, another Bible version says, they were singing song of him. Song of him, giving thanks to God, singing a new song in a prison. Maybe the song they were singing then is that, Mighty God, I praise your name. Is it that easy to sing in prison with all 
the stench, the smell, the odor that is coming out from the toilet and everything we have the sweat of the bodies of the prisoners but they are still singing singing a new song even when God has not done anything they are singing a new song unto God and the Bible recorded that as they were singing that song not that the jailer came to open the door for them the new thing that happened down there was that the foundation of the prison house shook and everything was open. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a new song that brought new things. So no matter your situation, you need to give praise to God. When you are giving praise to God, He will give you that new thing. That was what happened to Paul and Silas. And even the jailer and other prisoners were saying, ah uh ah. -uh. So song can bring new things. New song can bring new things. Someone you will sing a new song. Amen. Even this very much. Amen. And beauty will be given unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And according to Isaiah 52, verse 9. Break forth into joy. It says, Break forth into joy. Sing together. Sing together. Near waste places of Jerusalem. Near waste places of Jerusalem. For yeah. the Lord, remember, for the Lord has comforted his people. Because the Lord has comforted his people. He had redeemed Jerusalem. Did you hear that? It said, break forth into singing. He said, sing, sing. It did say, sing, you waste places of Jerusalem. Places that have been desolate. Places that there is nothing good there. He said, those places should sing. Are you looking at your life that nothing good is coming out from me? Why don't you sing? This is the word of God. He said, sing. Break forth into joy. Sing together, you waste places. You places are not bringing you out anything good. Just give me praise. And then he said, Where did I praise you? He said, The Lord has comforted his people. It is after they have props that have break forth into joy. That is when God now comforts them. It's after they have sung a new song. That's when God now comforts them. He said, He has redeemed Jerusalem after they have sung a new song. The worst places. After you have sang a new song, every of your waste places shall be rebuilt in the name of Jesus. Amen. After you have sung that new song, even this very week, that your expectation shall come to pass. Amen. Those that are depressed, those that are distressed, after they have sang a new song, those that are frustrated, he will comfort them. After they have sung a new song, those that are afflicted, they will be redeemed. That is the word of God. Hallelujah. So no matter your situation, give a song, give a new song to God. Give him a new song, give him a new song. And you will see him doing great and mighty things in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Zephaniah chapter 3. Sing. It says sing. O daughter of Zion. O daughter of Zion. Shout. Shout. O Israel. O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart. Jerusalem. Oh, daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away thy judgment. Because the Lord has taken away your judgment. He has cast out thy enemy. He has cast out their enemy. The king of Israel. Even the Lord. Even the Lord, yes. Is in the midst of thee. Is in the midst of thee. Thou shall not see evil anymore. You will not see evil anymore. Amen. But what did he say? No, sorry. Wait, ma. He says, Zephaniah 3, verse 40, it says, See God, daughter of Zion. Shout. Shout to all Israel. Be glad. He said, Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad. Sing a new song. Encourage you to see all of you. It's a repeat. It's a repeat. All of you. It's a repeat. 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 Because God has removed every judgment. But they have to sing first. Maybe that situation you are passing through is because of your, of your sin. Maybe because of your righteousness. Why don't you sing? Give him a new song. And then he will what? He will remove his hand of judgment. And then he says, Sing, sing, sing. Sing all you daughters. Sing all you sons. Sing women. Sing men. Sing children. Sing. Sing concerning that your situation. And then he will disperse. The Lord of Russia says, He will disperse the, the, the armies of your enemy. Those armies that gathered against, those enemies that, that, that came as an, as an army. What? What? That's what? 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 What?
Baba to ba korin tutu ni. Sugbon to ba ti korin tutu. Awon ogun na ko ni tun waka. So korin tutu ni osu yi. Olorun yo tu gbogbo awon ta re ka. Amen. So he says, see that then he will disperse the, all the armies of your enemy. Then he says, sing. I'm bringing about, I'm bringing about five points there when you sing a new song. When you need to sing a new song, those new things that will happen to you. The first one is that you will remove every hand of judgment. If you are suffering with your situation is because of your sin, when you sing to him, he will remove that hand of judgment concerning your sin. And then number two, he will disperse, he will scatter. The armies of your enemy. And then number three, when you sing a new song, hey, he will say, I will come into your midst. He will come and live in your midst. How many of you want God to live among you? So why don't you sing a new song to him? And then number four, when you sing a new song to him, your troubles will be over. Yes, when you sing a new song to him, he said your troubles will be over. Over. The Bible says you will not see evil again. You will not see trouble again. When you sing a new song to him, no more trouble. Amen. No more trouble when you sing a new song. Amen. So why don't you sing a new song so that that trouble will be rolled away? Why don't you sing a new song so that the remaining the months of 2020 will be trouble free for you? How many of you want that? Yes, the remaining months of 2020, the remaining days of my day, of my life, let it be trouble. To sing a new song, and then number five, it says. Disaster shall be no more. The fear of disaster shall be no more. Amen. Say so you will fear no more. Is it that what it says? It says thou shalt not see evil anymore. That's why you sing a new song. That's why you sing a new song. When you sing a new song, come to him. He begins to do new things. New things for you. New things and great things for you. Hallelujah. Amen. And verse 17. The Lord thy God. The Lord thy God. In the midst of thee is mighty. He's in the midst of you is mighty. He will save. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rejoice joy. over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. He will joy over you with singing. Hallelujah. Amen. There's another Bible version that says, and I love that, because it made me to remember that boy that go viral on the internet. Mommy, calm down. Mommy, calm down. Mommy, calm down. That verse 17, it says, He will calm you down. Do you have that version, please? Is there anyone with the version? It says, He will calm you down. I think that's New Living Translation. It says, He will calm you down. That place that says, He will rest in His love. It says, He will calm you down. Hey, that is why you sing a new song. When you sing beforehand, God will not calm you down. He will calm everything that concerns you. He will calm it down. No more trouble. Because when there is no more trouble, what will happen? There will be peace. There is no more trouble. What will happen? There will be calmness. That's it. That is the word of God for us. So when we sing a new song to Him, He begins to do a new thing. So this hour, we are about to sing a new song to Him. We are about to sing a new song to Him because He will do a new thing for us. We are singing a new song. How many of you are ready to sing a new song this hour? You are ready to sing a new song unto God for Him to do that new thing. That new thing you are expecting. You are Yahweh.
month of new song, isn't it? Yes. And I want to tell us, the beginning of this month, the first of this month, in the, in the church of our father, our apostle father in the Lord, Pastor Wale Oladi, is a month of good things. A month of good things, and good things are new things. And on the first of this month, something happened to this family that was something good. It was something new, something we did not expect. And I was saying, God, the first day of this month, the first day of August, God did something good to this family. And it made us to sing, sing a new song. Something we did not expect, God did it. And it made us to sing a new song. And also on the fifth, it also did something new. And I was saying, God, it is true that yes, it's a month of new song. Because it was just song, song over song. And this month is the month, is the eighth month. And eight that befies, in the Bible it says it's a new beginning. Eight is a new beginning. God will do something new in your life. In the name of Jesus. He will begin something new that you will sing and dance again. Because you always answer. 
In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Satan. I want to give this announcement, even as you are giving our offering, this announcement quickly before the benediction. The voice of mothers, the program for mothers to pray for their children, second Saturday, second Saturday every month by 7 p.m. Yesterday own was awesome, it was awesome, and I pray that we have testimony about these children in Jesus' name. We also have a Sunday service just like this by 10 a.m., glorious Sunday service. And on Monday, 7 p.m. is moment of apostolic impact with our Father in the Lord, Pastor John Debo. We have moment of apostolic impact by 7 p.m. on Monday. It's, it's very, very, very important that you allow your, the youth to listen to this. It will help them to fulfill destiny. Hallelujah. Then there's going to be a Yoruba program. Yoruba program in Padi Adura Ashegu. Padi Adura Ashegu is a vigil. Going to be taught Friday by 11 p.m. Taught Friday by 11 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. Nigeria time. God will bless every one of us in Jesus' name. We also have our Friday service, Revival Miracle Service, where we cry out unto God. And we always receive our miracle. And it's not Friday service that we come here that we don't receive our miracle. And I pray that as you tune in, as you join in, as you listen, as you watch, you will be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we stand up and share the grace in fellowship right now. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Holy God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall be with us forever and ever. Amen. I await your testimony. Amen. Amen.